Okay, Stand by it. steady. I've got the boy. Is he sitting in water? Uh, it looks like it. I'm just going to get on the PA and try and guide the SES crew in. The boy's in the creek just down there. The two SES coming towards us have gone past. There's a guy at the back that's got him. Can we just confirm that the guy at the back of the SES group has got the child? Oh, yeah, one, yeah. There's an SES with the child now. Uh, we just got to figure out... absolute joy I mean as soon as we uh, as soon as I saw the image of him on the screen um, I was just you know taken back and we straight away knew it was him I couldn't believe it actually <laughs> initially you know we'd only just started the search we're in the second valley and um, yeah it's just like wow that's him I've got the boy I just got to get off on the, get on the yeah. fire and get on the PR. We were first made aware of the report of the missing boy on Friday afternoon. We quickly responded, sending Pole Air helicopter up there to, to do a thermal search of the area. During that stage, we were unable to locate the boy and we continued throughout the weekend. On Monday morning at about 10.50 a.m., Pole Air 1 went up there again to continue that search. They were able to locate the boy within about 20 minutes in dense terrain. Uh, we knew the SES were in the area as we, we'd seen them searching. The talking you heard was me uh, guiding the, the helicopter in and around uh, the trees to get a better view of AJ. I was just going to get on the PA and try and guide the SES crew in. Okay, turn left a little bit. This guy's going to walk straight across him. Uh, when he looked up at us, it, it was the best feeling ever. Uh, for a while, he just seemed totally unperturbed by a helicopter hovering over his head. Uh, but then when you did look up, it was, yeah, brilliant. It's just one of those things that brings you back the next day, honestly. Um, in our line of work, unfortunately, the outcome is not always favourable, but to, to get a result like yesterday, yeah. Is he sitting in water? Uh, looks like it. I said to the boys, um, once we're heading back for fuel, I said, well, if that doesn't make you happy, nothing will, you know. He was just happy to be drinking water by the looks of it. From rescue coordinators right through to the volunteers, caterers, you know, you name it. Me and these two guys, we're just part of the team that was involved in it. A fantastic result and one demonstrating the commitment and the passion by our emergency services. And can we just confirm that the guy at the back of the SES group has got the child? Oh yeah, one, yeah, there's an SES with the child now. 